In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of the best new route concepts and route combinations that you can utilize out of any formation. We're going to be showing it to you today out of the U-Trips formation. If you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, um, that is in our Patreon. We're working on a ton of updates to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. I've been dropping a ton of updates over there on the uh, defensive side of the ball, and we're dropping some other cool stuff on the offensive side of the ball. So again, this concept right here, you don't need any route abilities whatsoever to run it out of U-Trips, but it's one of the best passing concepts to come out of Madden 23 this year. And it's super simple and you can run it to perfection. So what do I like to run this out of? Honestly, I like to utilize the play uh, tight end deep out, but you can utilize really any play that you want um, out of this that has this left side receiver on a post. And the concept is the slant post concept, but it's done a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you the difference. So typically the way that people have been running this slant post concept this year would be to have the slant coming from an opposite side, maybe snapping him just like this, and then he would beat man coverage. But notice that it takes a decent amount of time for that. The other thing is the way that that attacks the space in the field is it really is more of a middle of the field read, which can sometimes be complicated because of how um, your opponent is going to be usering um, you know, this different stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tight end, we're gonna put him on a five yard out route. That's one of the best, best routes in the game. We're still gonna slant our slot receiver, but instead of snapping the ball with the slot receiver on the right, we're gonna motion him all the way across here and we're gonna snap this ball basically right as he starts to set his feet, but we want him to still be in motion. What you'll notice is this consistently cooks man coverage over here on this left-hand side. And so what this concept is, is it's more so um, of a concept that I absolutely love in Madden every year, which is either levels or Y cross. And essentially what it boils down to is you have a crossing route that is gonna cross over the middle of the field at a deep depth. And then you kind of have that under underneath route that is going to kind of get underneath all of the zones that the crossing route pulled back. Now you'll see here if they're if they're not playing your post, you can easily throw that post over the top against man coverage. Now another couple other things that I did want to point out, um, and that is if they're not rolling a safety over top and they are trying to play you in press man to man coverage, one of the best routes that you can hit is this deep fade over here on the right. You're just gonna freeform that up and over the top of the defender, and that is gonna force them to either play off man coverage, or it's going to force them uh, to have to have some safety help over the top. A lot of people like to outside third their safeties this year, right? Well, the problem with this is because you have a natural, the because you have great spacing on the field, this is going to clear out all of the zones and you're gonna be able to throw that post right in that little pocket right there. Now, the other thing that you have against man coverage, and this is again, so it depends on how they use it. Right? Typically, they're going to want to try to guard your post route or they're gonna to wanna to try to guard your motion slant. If that is the case on this play, then what you wanna be able to do here is just try to freeform this out route outside. A lot of times you'll break that tackle quick and now this forces different coverage shells. For example, really the best way I think to defend this would be some defense that looks kind of like this, where they have that hard flat there to take away uh, the tight end out route. Then maybe on the back side here, um, you know, they've got some help in the middle of the field for the post, and then this allows them to kind of come underneath on the slant. This to me is probably the best way to defend this play out of man to man coverage, and there are some certain counters uh, to this, but this right here is still gonna get open. These motion slants remind me of Madden 17 with how effective they are when you snap the ball just as they're starting to kind of like come to a set and then you snap it before they actually set. Super, super effective. Now, let's go through this against zone coverage, the different zone coverages that you're gonna face. Um, and you're gonna notice kind of a theme with this. So the beauty of this play and the route combo here, and again, we're blocking our running back, but the beauty of this is you'll see how that post, you can highball that over the yellows. Um, of course, if you do, <laughs> of course, if you get KO'd, you get KO'd. But you can highball this post route over the top of the yellow zones, or it's going to pull the yellow zones back enough so that you can throw this motion slant. So really what this is, is it's really more of a high-low between your post and your slant. So you see here, if I wait on this, I can throw that post over in that pocket as well against cover four. I think cover four defends this probably the best. Um, but what you're gonna notice against cover three, 
these yellow zones, um, they just don't really guard the slant. Like the slant this year is so, so good because you can pass like that down and ag it. And you see how he can cut it off even before the curl flat, even before the, the hook curl defender is able to get over there uh, to be able to defend this. And so they're going to have to make some adjustments to that. Um, but really, typically what they're going to do is they're probably going to use the slant just because there's so many windows you can throw it in. That was shaded down yellow zone, by the way. And you see that the hook curl still, and, and a lot of this is because of the grid system that Madden zones are built off of. But because of the way the zones play, you're able to really kind of hit that little pocket right there. Now, if you if you were to take your back out of the backfield, kind of wheel him or get him out of the way, he'll clear out the flat zones for you as well. So this is um, an example of this would be out of trip tight end um, is the best way to teach it, where you had like a crosser, a backside dig, and a flat. We're basically doing the same thing if we put the back to the flat, and you could put him to the flat in a lot of different ways, but then you have this backside slant and, and post instead of dig and crosser. And it's primarily just because of how effective the post is against man coverage. Now, if you have Hot Route Master, I did want to say this, if you have Hot Route Master, go ahead and Hot Route that guy to a Slot Apprentice post, just because it's a little bit more consistent for us, um, just in terms of how sharply it's gonna cut against man to man. So you'll see here, and then you can actually throw this all the way across the field if they're in a drop eight coverage or maybe double Maybelline or whatever. Um, so this is just one of my favorite plays right now. And I think this is one of the best concepts of the year. Um, you know, there's been two or three discoveries this year uh, from a passing perspective that like core concepts that really have made, um, you know, people better passers. This is one of them, this motion slant. And you can do a lot with it. So like you could create almost like a wide corner you know, style concept where you're doing something like this and that corner out will kind of pull the man coverage and the hook curls, but it's really the same basic idea. And really what this is, is just a high low over the middle of the field and that motion slant is such a critical piece of it. And then when you couple that with that five yard out route to pull zones, it really can just take your offense to a whole nother level because now you're able to really um, space the field well and still be able to attack man coverage. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is, is in the description.